Hi, everybody. Welcome to a very special Life with Chaudhry. I'm delighted to be joined by Noba Ibad from PTI or Packaging Technology Inspections. And he's talking to me from their booth at the PDA annual meeting in Dallas, which is why I've got a Texas Rangers jersey up behind me for this very call. So, Noba, first of all, lovely to see you. How are you, my friend? Hello, Rizwan. It's a pleasure seeing you again. I'm doing very well. Very yeah, well. well. How are I, you today? I'm very well. The only time I ever see you is virtually at a show. I haven't met you in person. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, look, it's lovely to see you. Um, so before we start talking about the show and everything else, um, give viewers a quick overview of PTI, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. So PTI, Packaging Technologies and Inspection, uh, is a leading manufacturer of equipment used for container closure integrity testing and also seal quality analysis. So Brilliant. we really specialize in, in supporting the pharmaceutical and med device uh, seg market segments. And why is it so important to be testing for seals on packaging? So really, in the end, we're looking for maintaining sterility within a container. Uh, and maintaining sterility, of course, is important because you don't want any microbial ingress or bacteria, whatever it may be, to be detrimental to the end user or patient, of course. Brilliant. Now, let's talk about the event this week. Now, before we start talking about what you're showcasing at the event, where you're specifically talking to delegates about PDA, how has the conference gone? Because I know this is one of the first big live events that PDA have done uh, since the pandemic. So has it been? I know it started yesterday and runs till tomorrow. So how was day one? Yeah, day one went well. So PDA uh, historically has been a very good conference to attend, whether it's the annual meeting or uh, any other conferences. The attendees here and exhibitors even are the right people to, to speak to in the industry. It's very focused and uh, it's worthwhile to attend, absolutely. And what's the buzz been around the exhibition? Have you had quite a few uh, people walking the show? Yeah, so the main focus of, uh, of this meeting, the conference, is really the future of pharmaceutical manufacturing. So we're looking to better understand uh, what is currently happening in the industry and what the plans are for the future, whether it's a regulatory environmental change or uh, something firsthand. Right. Okay. And so what are you specifically talking to delegates about at the booth this week? So this week we're focusing on two of our technologies. That would be vacuum decay and microcurrent HVLD. Uh, those two technologies are, are very focused in the pharmaceutical industry specifically, whether it's uh, we're looking at liquid or dry filled vials, pre-filled syringes, ampules, you name it. Right, okay. So, and what are the differences between those two technologies? So, I'll start off with uh, what are the same, actually, believe it or not. So, they're both non-destructive, non-invasive, and deterministic technologies. So, uh, the industry is, is aware change has been in the forefront of, uh, of people's minds, especially regulatory bodies. So, regulatory industries are moving away from probabilistic, subjective technologies and moving towards those deterministic, non-destructive. Uh, but long story short, vacuum decay, we're looking for a vacuum differential or pressure differential within the container to detect defects, whereas microcurrent high voltage is utilized for liquid filled containers only. And we're looking for uh, a difference in, in voltage readings or capacitance. Right. So there is a difference in terms of the type of packaging that they're best suited for them. Correct. Right, okay. And I understand also that um, CEO Oliver Stouffer has also given a presentation this week uh, at the PD Annex workshop, which runs from April the 7th to 8th. So what's he talking about at that presentation? Correct. So if I'm not mistaken, he'll be presenting on the 8th, and Oliver will be really focusing on CCIT, so container closure integrity testing and finishing, of course. So we'll be taking a, a deep dive there at that workshop. Brilliant. Okay. Now, finally, where else can people meet you guys uh, in person over the next few weeks? So throughout the rest of the, the PDA conference, we're going to be at booth 603 here in Dallas. Uh, interestingly enough, just next week, we'll be at the MDNM and Westpac show in Anaheim, California. And you can find us at booth 4913. Right very, well, very well remembered there, Nova. But, so, but what will you be talking about? Are you talking about anything different at that particular show? So at the MDNM Westpac show, it's mainly focused on med device. Uh, we'll be showcasing our airborne ultrasound technology, our Seal Scan 520, which is specific towards seal quality analysis rather than container closure integrity. Right, brilliant. And and I also know you guys are going to be in Europe, aren't you? So I, I think you're going to be at Pharmapack on May the 18th and 19th as well in Paris. 
Yes, we will. And hopefully we'll see you there, Rizwan. Uh, well, I look forward to going there. Are you going to be there yourself? So maybe we can finally catch up in person if you end up in Paris as well, Nova. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I will not be there myself. <laughs> However, many of my colleagues will. I believe that week or the week prior, I will be at uh, another trade show in, in Texas as well, Austin. That's the pack out. Oh, fantastic. Well, look, I look, wish you the success of that one as well. Uh, so, brilliant. And, and finally, if people can't make it to PDA this week or ne- next week at Westpac, uh, where else can they get more information about the technologies and the solutions that you guys are offering? Mm-hmm. So, I highly recommend checking out our website. That's www.ptiusa.com. Or, of course, follow us on LinkedIn. Uh, if you haven't already, you should also follow Rizwan, of course, because he uh, shares quite a bit of our information that might be helpful for you as well. Brilliant. Well, look, no, it's lovely to see you, my friend. Hopefully, we will catch up in person eventually at some show or another. But I wish you lots of success this week. I hope it goes really well for you in Dallas. And also, if you're going to be at Westpac next week, I hope that goes well as well for you as well. There you go, Vio. So if you're at PDA Annual Meeting this week, then check out the PTI booth. Uh, Nova, what's the booth number again? 603. 603 i'm just testing it but check, <laughs> check check out at the pti booth at 603 uh, it runs until tomorrow so you've still got two full days east coast time because i am in the uk so you guys are behind us you've got lots of time to still meet the team um, and if you're in anaheim next week you can go to westpac or if you're in paris you can meet them in farmer pack uh, or at pack out in Texas, as nova just mentioned as well and if you can't do any of that you can check out their website the linkedin pages so nova have a fantastic time in dallas i hope it goes really well for you the rest of the week my friend thank you rizwan it's a pleasure it's lovely to see you again and uh, viewers i hope you found that useful as i said if you're in uh, dallas right now at the pd annual conference check out the, the pti booth there so until next time as always stay well and stay safe bye-bye stay safe rizwan